standing outside of the Zizelman House, a historic structure from 1882. As you can tell by my mask, this is being recorded during the era of the COVID-19 pandemic. But since my camera operator is going to maintain a socially responsible distance of more than six feet away from me, I'm going to re remove my mask so that it's a little easier to hear me and understand what I'm saying. Let's go inside the fence and take a closer look at the house, shall we? The Zizelman House is a German vernacular style of architecture on an L-shaped floor plan. It measures about 1,100 square feet and includes an attic area as well as a root cellar. Very uncommon for the time. One of the mysteries about the Zizelman House is we don't know that it was ever really completed. Did anyone ever live in the house? We don't know that either. We do know that it was occupied temporarily from time to time over the decades, but as far as it ever being an actual home or residence for anyone, we don't find any evidence of that in the historic record as of yet. Christian and Emily Zizelman were German immigrants and bakers who lived downtown in San Antonio. Why they would have a house out here is part of the mystery. They were a small family, husband, wife, and two small daughters. We speculate that perhaps this building was built in collaboration with the Hoffmans and may have been intended for their use as opposed to the Zizelmans. That said, the Zizelmans did own this property. Christian had died, a patriarch, and his wife, Emily, sold all of their holdings back to the Hoffman family. The historic record is unclear as to the exact relationship between the Zizelmans and the Hoffmans in regards to this property but we hope through further investigation that we'll be able to clear this mystery up. One of the more interesting and artistic qualities of the Zizelman house, at least as far as I'm concerned, are the hand chisel marks that you see in many of the limestone blocks. These blocks would have all been cut from native limestone, quarried locally by hand. Closer examination reveals each of many different chisel strikes forming each of the blocks. Let's take a closer look. Look here, this is real good right there. As I mentioned, the, the Zizelman house was built around 1882. Since that time, however, it has experienced a series of partial collapse. When we first acquired this property in 1994, much of the house had already collapsed. The boarded up areas that you see signify those areas where there was structural problems, uh, partial wall collapses, doorways, and window frames that were compromised. In uh, the mid-2000s, between 2011 and 2014, we actually had a near total collapse of this northern wall you see behind me. Recently, as within the last two years, it was reconstructed by local masons who are skilled at this sort of uh, of work and they were able to use the actual limestone blocks from the original building uh, to recreate the wall and put it back in its original place. Our eventual goals uh, for this house is to do a restoration on it uh, to make it open to the public. We see this as having uh, many opportunities for learning about Texas history, learning about the ranching heritage in this part of uh, Texas as well as the significant contributions made by different immigrants, uh, specifically the Germans, uh, to this area. Because of public safety concerns, the Zizelman House is not currently open to the public. However, for this video, we are gonna be able to go inside. This door is the only door that we use to be able to get into the house, and so we do keep it locked, but for our purposes, we're gonna go inside today and show you a quick look around. I'm now standing inside the Zizelman house. I'm in what we refer to as the East Room. There's some materials that you see laying around the house that we have brought up for the reparations that we hope to do on the Zizelman house. And we are hopeful that with help from the community and other outside agencies, we'll be able to do a full restoration of this remarkable uh, and potential gem for Texas history. As I mentioned, when we got the property in 1994, sections of the house had fallen and left the house open to any access. As a result, as you see, there's been graffiti on the interior walls over decades. Yeah. 
It's for this reason, among others, that we are keeping the public out because the potential for future damage is just too great. Once the house is restored, however, we hope to have it available for people to come inside, view, and learn a little bit about the history of the family and about this area of Texas. So now we're gonna leave the East Room and walk into the West Room. We're now entering into the West Room, this room we believe to have been more of the living area. We have a fireplace, and as you can see, there's a lot of damage still on the inside of the house. As I've mentioned, we do hope to eventually clean it up again and restore it and make it actually accessible to the public. Now let's leave the west room and go into the kitchen area, or the northwestern room. Walking into the northwestern room, or the kitchen from the west room, we have these door panels here that would have closed it off. We think of this as the kitchen for a couple of reasons. Number one being, we have a stovepipe hole in the wall right here that goes right into the back of the chimney and makes sense that it would have been the exhaust for a stove at some point, most likely a pot-bellied stove. We also see that below this room we have a root cellar. This would have provided ample storage for supplies for periods of time when people were either here working or perhaps not here and planning to come back. The Zizelman House represents a true gem of Texas history. When you visit other historic structures in San Antonio, you'll find that they're adjacent to metropolitan features such as shopping malls, downtown areas, that sort of thing. The Zizelman House is relatively unique in that when you come to see it, it is on a lone path deep in the backwoods set alone in the backcountry as it would have been back in the early 1800s. We hope you'll come visit it and inquire more about it and perhaps help us someday restore this building to its true potential. So from the Zizelman House, I'm Park Ranger John Kepke with Government Canyon State Natural Area. We'll see you next time.